Hey guys, so while I'm back, um, I know it's been a while since I've done a review. Um, probably what the last one was the interview, and the last time I've been to the movie theater was like Christmas Eve. I went and saw the, I went to the movies yesterday, and I, by the time I got home, it was like midnight, and uh, I didn't, uh, I had to work this morning. I've been working like nonstop. I hadn't had a day off, literally. Um, so that's why I haven't been doing any reviews as late. Um, it's, again, it's probably going to come at random when I do reviews, probably on Saturdays or Sundays instead of Fridays. Um, and if I could ever get the chance to do a pre-screening, I'll, I'll try and do it. Um, but anyways, I went and saw two, caught up on two movies I wanted to see. Uh, the first being Taken 3. Um, now with Taken, um, I like Taken. I like Taken a lot. I thought it was a really great, uh, fun action movie. It uh, rejuvenated Liam Neeson's career. I think we've all talked about it. Everybody knows. If you've been watching my reviews, you know that I'm a huge Liam Neeson fan. Uh, I, I adore the guy. I, I love this whole renaissance his career is going through where he's an action guy now. Um, I, I keep saying it's funny. Like He's probably about the 60s, and he's so convincing that he could fucking kill you <laughs> right on the spot. Like... He, just by looking at you, <laughs> I don't really. Uh, he's he's amazing. I love Liam Neeson. He's amazing. I love this career renaissance, and Taken was you know the start of that. And uh, Taken was a pretty fun movie. Taken Two, on the other hand, wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't very good. Uh, I didn't like Taken Two, <laughs> um, and I remember there, the one issue I ever had with that movie was that. There were so many stupid things that, like, were decisions that were made, like Maggie Grace throwing grenades to try to find out where she was in, uh, uh, in accordance to uh, where Liam Neeson was. That was fucking stupid. Or my favorite part where Liam Neeson... This, this bugged the shit out of me when I saw it in the theaters. It still bugs me. And, uh... He finally captures, or he finds Lenore, who's, uh, captured, and she, you know, he finally gets her and stuff, and so what does he do? He leaves her there, so he can go, I think, I think go get the daughter, and I was like, seriously? You could have fucking just escaped with her, and the whole movie would be over, and guess what? When he comes back, she's kidnapped again. You're like, fucking idiot. And like, and I found out what made me more infuriated was the fact that, uh, in the unrated version, that was the original end, like pretty much ending. That he did, he he didn't he didn't leave her there. She he actually took her with him, and it's like why didn't fucking leave that in the first place? Fuck, fuck off! Like it was, and like the movie ended pretty shortly after that. Um, it resolved the storyline pretty easily, and it could have been a really shorter movie. Um, I would have been fine with that the movie. wasn't very good. Um, Liam Neeson was great. Like, it's, you know, fuck it. Liam Neeson was great in it. Um, but this one, it, it's kind of funny. With Taken 3, I was kind of intrigued by it. I was like, alright. I, I mean, at first, I was like, no, I don't want to see another Taken movie. And then I saw the trailer, I'm like, okay, it looks like it could be kind of interesting. And, uh, yeah, it hasn't been getting very good reviews. Um, I've been hearing really bad things about it. And I've had a kind of a bad week, and I'm like, oh, maybe Liam Neeson can uh, cheer me up with him being a badass. Yeah, you know what? Critics weren't wrong. This movie is pretty fucking awful. <laughs> this movie is really bad. Um, there are certain things about this movie that pissed me off. Uh, well, this movie didn't really piss me off. I was just like, that was a really bad movie. Um... There were things I liked about it. I don't remember a couple things. I, like, I did like Liam Neeson in this movie. Liam Neeson's... Fucking... He can sleepwalk. I pretty much sleepwalk for this movie. He can play this movie in his role in his sleep. He's very good in it. Um, he's the best thing about it. Um, Liam Neeson's fucking Liam Neeson. He fucking will murder you. Like, and, and fucking shoot you in the face and ask questions later. Um... <laughs> he's aw he's awesome in this movie. I, I, I thought he was fun in it. Um, I mean, I, I honestly, I kind of uh, liked the relationship still between him and the daughter. I thought, you know, that was very good. 
Um, but that's where the, my compliments for this movie end. My biggest fucking issue with this movie, I'm, I don't think I'm the only one who's pointed this out, is the horrible, god-awful, the person, this person needs to be fired from Hollywood editing in this movie. Oh my god, I could not tell what the fuck was going on half the time. And it wasn't just like in the action scenes, it was just in fucking, just a simple scene, like where, like, uh, Maggie Grace and Liam Neeson are talking to each other. Like, they would not let one scene breathe. Like, just sit there and, it would, would like, it would, like, this would have would happen. It would jump, it would, it would do a bunch of jump cuts. It would go from Liam Neeson's point, show Liam Neeson, then Maggie Grace, back to Liam Neeson, then Liam Neeson's holding a the fork, then something else is going on in the background, then back to Maggie Grace, then back to Liam Neeson. Like, every shot is, like, Every shot in this movie is, like, less than fucking five seconds. I swear to God. And it's fucking annoying. And it's made even worse when the action scenes happen. Because I could not fucking tell what was going on in this fucking movie when the action scenes happened in this movie. Like, the quick cutting was fucking ridiculous. It was... It wasn't really shaky cam. But this was... This was, like... Die Hard 5 bad. Like, really fucking bad. Um, it was terrible. It was unforgivable. Um, whoever is the editor of this fucking movie needs to be fired and never work in Hollywood again. He does not know how to fucking edit a fucking movie or an action movie or whatever. Not even a fucking action movie. Even a fucking simple scene. It's ridiculous. It's like fucking filmmaking 101. I took editing classes and I, I, like, editing shit, movies, like, like, editing choices don't really bother me that much, but this was fucking distracting. Like, I got a headache from this movie. I, like, I had a giant fucking headache. Like, like, especially because I could not tell what the fuck was going on. Also, this movie has the same problem I have with the other two. Not just, like, the second one, but also the first one. But this one is taken, or is worse. And the fact that these movies so, so, so bad want to be rated R. You can fucking tell. To the point that, like, there are unrated versions of these movies on DVD that are a bit more, like, in the R-rated uh, territory. Um, and... Which begs the fucking question, why the fuck would you not just release it in rated R? I mean, fuck it, I don't know. Um, but, this movie is worse than the other two. This one, I'm not fucking joking, there's a scene, I'm not joking, where <laughs> Liam Neeson shoots a guy, puts a, has a gun in this, this guy's mouth, and... He sh and the guy ends up uh, shooting his own head off, and so they they cut back to the guy, and there is no blood whatsoever. Fucking ever, his head hasn't even exploded. His head's still intact. There's no blood. There's no marks. There's nothing. What the fuck? <laughs> like seriously, somebody gets shot in the fucking him out, or like sh shoots a gun in their mouth, and nothing fucking happens. No blood. Why do you even fucking? Why do you even show him at the end? It is distracting. It's Expendables three bad. Honestly, Expendables Expendables three wasn't this bad. Um, that was terrible. I mean, fucking terrible. And also, at one point, also, there's a scene towards the end where Liam Neeson shoots a guy in the fucking chest, and there's like, it looks like, literally, it doesn't look like bullet. He got shot. It looks like he got a fucking bruise. Like somebody just punched him in the stomach it does like they look a little like these little black holes and that's it there's no blood whatsoever it's fucking terrible i mean it's wow it's fucking terrible this movie is really bad i mean an m&m &M. um the movie is really bad i like i like liam neeson liam neeson was great in this movie i will admit he was a lot of fun but this movie <laughs> This movie was worse than Taken 2. Like, Taken 2 didn't give me a fucking headache. 
Um, it's from the same director. Uh, I don't, I don't think it was the director's, I, I think it's the editor's fault. This movie was terrible. Um, also, there's a lot of fucking stupid people in this movie. Um, and there's a lot of points in this movie. I, I didn't know fucking Liam Neeson was supposed to be playing Superman. There are a lot of points in this movie I'm like, how the fuck did he survive that? Like, there's a scene, I still don't know how the fuck he survived this, where he crashes a car he's driving down an elevator shaft, and the fucking, like, the car explodes, like, fireballs, like, go flying up, and somehow he survives that. How? <laughs> What the fuck? Like, apparently he is, you know, like, he rolls a car and fucking somehow gets out. I have no idea how to fuck. Apparently he's fucking Superman. Um, last time I checked, no, he's not. Um, also, fucking FBI agents are fucking stupid. Whatever, there's some really pointless shit in this movie. Like, what the fuck is up with the, that, oh god, that fucking bagel shit. Oh god, this pissed me off. So, there's there's this throughout the whole movie. Forrest Whitaker's in this movie. He <laughs> he he. Uh, Liam Neeson before he uh, his wife uh, he found his wife dead, ex wife dead. Um, spoiler alert: if you don't know what the fucking plot is, I mean, if you've seen the trailer, you know this happens. Um, he goes to buy her bagels. And he buys her fresh bagels. And Forrest Whitaker uh, finds the bagels at the apartment. And, like, throughout the whole fucking movie, for some reason, I have no idea. They keep cutting him to him, like, eating bagels. And, like, he's just sitting there contemplating, contemplating. Like, this is going to probably go somewhere. It probably isn't. I was, I was half expecting it wasn't. It does. Where, I'm not fucking joking, he tells Liam, this is going to spoil her words, but he tells Liam Neeson, he's like, I knew you didn't do it, because those bagels were fresh. What? Like, he does this whole manhunt on him. Why were you wasting your fucking manpower on this guy if he knew because of the fucking bagels? Makes no fucking sense. Um, <laughs> and, and then, like, there's also, what's up with the fucking chess piece he keeps... Like, playing with. Why do they keep cutting to that? I don't know why. It's never explained. What the fuck is he doing? Why does he get the little rubber band thing? I don't know. Like, it's so stupid. It's, it's... Oh God, this movie was dumb. Oh, God, this movie was dumb. Um... The editing in this movie was... Like I said, and also, fucking the... F FBI agents in this movie were fucking retarded. Oh, my God. Like, <laughs> like there's no one... Like, they're fucking retarded. Like, <laughs> the FBI agents... I think they're FBI agents. They're really fucking retarded. Um, God, I hated this movie. This movie wasn't very good. I, I Honestly, I hated this movie more than... <laughs> I hated Taken 2. I'm a guy who loves Liam Neeson, but... And this doesn't kill my thoughts on Liam Neeson. Everybody can have a bad movie. Um... Yeah, I mean, whatever. Sloan and Schwarzenegger have bad movies, so, you know, whatever. Um, yeah, don't see this shit. Don't. Um, as far as previews, I got, um, what the hell did I get here? I got, uh, Kings, the new trailer for Kingsman The Secret Service, which I'm hearing really good things about. That movie looks really awesome, I'm not gonna lie. Um, Unfortunately, that movie comes out the same week as Fifty Shades of Grey, so it's probably not going to do very well. I, I, that sucks because it does look really good. I'm hearing really good things about it. I'm sure it's going to be hell ton, ten, ten, uh, a lot. They're ten times better than Fifty Shades of Grey. I'm fucking certain of that. Um, but yeah, Kingsman is Secret Service. It looks funny. I don't know about. I still don't know why Samuel Jackson has a lisp. I don't know why he's talking like that. It really bugs me. Um, but whatever. Um, also, I got, uh, speaking of Liam Neeson, Run All Night. Uh, that looks pretty cool. It's him and Ed Harris. Um, and I think Liam Neeson kills Ed Harris's son. 
So he wants to, Daenerys wants to kill Liam Neeson's son. It looks kind of awesome. Um, I'm not entirely sure what the fuck, it, honestly, it looked, it looked like it'd be a lot of fun. Um, it does look like a lot of fun. Um, again, I, it's from the guy that made, uh, Unknown and, uh, Nonstop. So he, he's made some pretty good movies with uh, Liam Neeson up to this point. So I'm going to check that out. Definitely. Uh, and the last one I got, oh, fucking God, the Lazarus effect. So you take, so they took the idea of Pet Cemetery, and instead of like it being a cemetery, it's now a medical experiment where they bring people back from the dead. Like, no, why would you do that in the fucking first place? No, <laughs> it's a whole bunch of no. <laughs> it's like, there's a lot of plots in these horror movies where we go, I would not fucking no, no sane person would do that. <laughs> I don't believe in the afterlife and all that shit like that, but fuck that. I'm not doing that. <laughs> fuck that shit. I don't know what. I don't want to know what the fuck. It never ends well when somebody does that in a horror movie. And it fucking, uh, it's jump scare, jump scare, jump scare, jump scare. It's literally the the plot of Pet Cemetery. It is like the fucking exact same plot, except it's an experiment. Pet Cemetery was fucking way better. Um, I'm sore. Um, yeah, that was stupid. That movie was stupid. Um, uh, it, Olivia Wilde's in it. That, that she's fucking gorgeous. That woman's gorgeous as hell. Um, I'd watch a movie with her any day. Um, <laughs> but it still looks like shit. Um, anyways, that's my review. Take it free. I got one more review, uh, for Selma coming up next. <laughs>